A prodrug is a medication or compound that, after administration, is metabolized, i.e., converted within the body, into a pharmacologically active drug. Inactive prodrugs are pharmacologically inactive medications that are metabolized into an active form within the body. Instead of administering a drug directly, a corresponding prodrug might be used instead to improve how a medicine is absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted ADME. Prodrugs are often designed to improve bioavailability when a drug itself is poorly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. A prodrug may be used to improve how selectively the drug interacts with cells or processes that are not its intended target. This reduces adverse or unintended effects of a drug, especially important in treatments like chemotherapy, which can have severe unintended and undesirable side effects. History Many herbal extracts historically used in medicine contain glycosides sugar derivatives of the active agent, which are hydrolyzed in the intestines to release the active and more bioavailable aglycone. For example, salicin is a beta-D-glucopyranicide that is cleaved by esterases to release salicylic acid. Aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid, first made by Felix Hoffman at Bayer in 1897, is a synthetic prodrug of salicylic acid. However, in other cases, such as codeine and morphine, the administered drug is enzymatically activated to form sugar derivatives, morphine glucuronides, that are more active than the parent compound. The first synthetic antimicrobial drug, arspenamin, discovered in 1909 by Sahachiro Hada in the laboratory of Paul Ehrlich, is not toxic to bacteria until it has been converted to an active form by the body. Likewise, Prontosil, the first sulfa drug, discovered by Gerhard Domog in 1932, must be cleaved in the body to release the active molecule, sulfonilamide. Since that time, many other examples have been identified. Terfenidine, the first non-sedating antihistamine, had to be withdrawn from the market because of the small risk of a serious side effect. However, terfenidine was discovered to be the prodrug of the active molecule, fexofenidine, which does not carry the same risks as the parent compound. Therefore, fexofenidine could be placed on the market as a safe replacement for the original drug. Loratadine, another non-sedating antihistamine, is the prodrug of desloratadine, which is largely responsible for the antihistaminergic effects of the parent compound. However, in this case the parent compound does not have the side effects associated with terfenidine, and so both loratadine and its active metabolite, desloratadine, are currently marketed. Recent prodrugs Approximately 10% of all marketed drugs worldwide can be considered prodrugs. Since 2008, at least 30 prodrugs have been approved by the FDA. Seven prodrugs were approved in 2015 and six in 2017. Examples of recently approved prodrugs are such as dabigatran etexalate approved in 2010, gabapentin inacarbol 2011, sofosbavir 2013, tdzolid phosphate 2014, isovuconazonium 2015, eripiprazole loroxyl 2015, selexapag 2015, and latanoprostine bunid 2017. Classification Prodrugs can be classified into two major types, based on how the body converts the prodrug into the final active drug form. Type 1 prodrugs are bioactivated inside the cells intracellularly. Examples of these are antiviral nucleoside analogs that must be phosphorylated and the lipid-lowering satins. Type 2 prodrugs are bioactivated outside cells extracellularly, especially in digestive fluids or in the body's circulatory system, particularly in the blood. Examples of type 2 prodrugs are salicin, described above, and certain antibody, gene or virus-directed enzyme prodrugs used in chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Both major types can be further categorized into subtypes, based on factors such as type 1, whether the intracellular bioactivation location is also the site of therapeutic action, or type 2, whether or not bioactivation occurs in the gastrointestinal fluids or in the circulation system. See Table 1 below for further subtype categorization. Subtypes Type E of prodrugs include many antimicrobial and chemotherapy agents e.g., 5-fluorosyl. 
Type IV agents rely on metabolic enzymes, especially in hepatic cells, to bioactivate the prodrugs intracellularly to active drugs. Type II prodrugs are bioactivated extracellularly, either in the milieu of GI fluids type IIA, within the systemic circulation and or other extracellular fluid compartments type IIB, or near therapeutic target tissues, cells type IIC, relying on common enzymes such as esterases and phosphatases or target-directed enzymes. Importantly, prodrugs can belong to multiple subtypes, i.e., mixed type. A mixed type prodrug is one that is bioactivated at multiple sites, either in parallel or sequential steps. For example, a prodrug, which is bioactivated concurrently in both target cells and metabolic tissues, could be designated as a type IA, IB prodrug, e.g., HMG CoA reductase inhibitors and some chemotherapy agents. Note the symbol. Quote slash quote. Applied here. When a prodrug is bioactivated sequentially, for example initially in GI fluids then systemically within the target cells, it is designated as a type IIA IA prodrug, e.g., tenofovir disoproxyl, note the symbol. Quote dash quote. Applied here, many antibody virus and gene-directed enzyme prodrug therapies ADEPTs, VDEPTs, GDEPTs, and proposed nanoparticle or nanocarrier-linked drugs can understandably be sequential mixed-type prodrugs. To differentiate these two subtypes, the symbol dash, quote, dash, quote, is used to designate and to indicate sequential steps of bioactivation, and is meant to distinguish from the symbol slash, quote, slash, quote, Used for the parallel mixed type prodrugs, see Table 1 in Wu, KM, and Table 1 in Wu and Farrelly. Adapted from Pharmaceuticals 2-77-81, 2009, and Toxicology 236-1-6, 2007. See also Active metabolite Codrug Toxication References External links Special issue on prodrugs, from design to applications